this room down here. I see where it's coming from. I guess you can see that okay. My trouble light, my construction light, just took a dump on me. And I don't have any extra bulbs with me. And man, I didn't think I used it that long. I've used it for a few months here and there on videos and stuff. But uh, I got some extra bulbs off. But for this, I think you can see good enough. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take this uh, trap apart. But remember, when you take this trap apart, You've got water in this trap, at least at, from this high all the way across. Okay, so when I take that bottom nut off, water's going to start dripping down there. So I got just a little bucket here, you know, just a little plastic tub. I'm going to position that down, down here. So when I loosen up this nut, you know, most of the water will hopefully go into my tub. Now, if, if you don't do that, you only got this much water in this loop right here. If you forget to do this, you're going to have to wipe it up later, you know, after it all comes down on top of you. That's another reason why when I do this, I, I like to, uh, I like to clear everything out from underneath the sink, you know, so I have a, a good area of workability there and I don't like to get everything all messed up. Okay. I got that up, that nut loose now. I can take a look at that and see if that needs to be repositioned at all. Looks like it was tweaked sideways, just a, just a smidge. And so I just repositioned that because there's a nut here too, and that can swivel. This, this piece here that goes straight across and down, that can swivel, and that was slightly off at an angle, okay? So it wasn't notched down nice and tight into that fitting and I think that's what was causing it to leak okay so now I've got it repositioned I can put this nut back on now and tighten it up and see what happens maybe I won't have to put any Teflon tape on that after all